Namaste. Welcome to Kirtipur. Thank you. So let's uh, go to the kitchen area first, uh -huh. where they cook the food. This this is a uh, place owned by uh, the community of Newars, and uh, this is not a, under a single ownership. So this is owned by uh, many households. That's why the uh, cooking techniques and everything uh, uh, are like very uh, authentic here. Quite an extensive menu. Extensive, very much. So these are mostly, uh, if you see Newari food, then uh, you, you'll see a lot of uh, buff items, you know, water buffalo items. And uh, almost all parts of the uh, you know, body is used. And uh, it's very dynamic because because of the, you know, a uh, lot of uh, communities came into Kathmandu, you know, you know, hundreds of years back, you know, and they gradually introduced their own food. Mm -hmm. So you'll also see, you know, you, you have bada in India, right? Yeah. So we have bara here. So we tried it with kamal. Yeah, exactly. The bara, you uh, add it uh, in Bhaktapur, 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 right? Yeah. So that's, uh, you know, there are quite a lot of techniques. To, and it's it's a very rich uh, This also because of the uh, cultural amalgamation, I would say. Uh, but what you'll notice is uh, around 100 years ago, you know, the, uh, the food was like quite basic. But nowadays they've uh, you know started to uh, put in a lot of you know spices because that's what people uh, mm -hmm. uh, prefer nowadays. Yeah. So it's a, it's quite an extensive menu. So we have a lot to choose from. That's chuela. Chuela actually means you know barbecued meat <laughs> in Newari language. So uh, traditionally it is made uh, from you know hay, right? So uh, they burn hay because it, it uh, you know is is contained quite nicely in hay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have tried it like the other version of chuela in um, Chama Singh. Yeah, where they smoke it first, right. then they add ginger garlic paste, right. chili ginger paste, right. and right. some exactly. salt. Exactly. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. it Very so rustic I mean, flavors. Yeah. And it has some cumin as well. Yeah, cumin. Some cumin. Mm. Wow, this is very flavorful. From like very, very basic was like. Mm. This meat. Mm. There's meat and egg also. Mm -hmm. We have plain egg and egg meat also. Perfect. Yeah. 
क्या है आलू लुक सुपर स्पाइसी बहुत ही उम्दा यू कैन रिली टेस्ट द मस्टर्ड ऑयल राइट This is called yomari. 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 And uh, this is also made out of the uh, uh, Taichin rice because that's more. Uh, it has a lot of starch and it really gives a very good texture. So they uh, they have uh, they uh, mostly uh, fill it with uh, 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 two options and this is you know good right? Good jaggery. Jaggery. So it's concentrated and they put in uh, a bit of you know coconut and all those sort of spices. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet dish. Sweet. It's a, it's a sweet treat. Mm -hmm. We'll end out, uh, you know, cook with this one. Mm -hmm. It's got shape, shank ki tarah hai, right, or right. kind of fish, right? Huh? And uh, we have a very special day to have mm -hmm. uh, this, uh, you know, uh, food. Mm -hmm. We call it yomori, uh, yomori puni. So uh, that's that's a purnima, mm -hmm. so full moon. So we we have a proper feast to uh, have along with this. So th this is a this is quite a revered dish, quite uh, quite a sought after dish. There are quite a few restaurants making uh, this all throughout the year. Okay. So Newari Lahana, of course, being the flag uh, barrier when it comes to Newari food. Mm -hmm. so, There's a kind of a steam dump, steam. sweet dumpling. Right, sweet dumpling. Mm. This is uh, called puti. So this is uh, this is uh, greens. greens. So this is seasonal, and this is a boiled egg, you know, of fried in mustard oil uh, with a bit of turmeric, and this is purito, and this is black lentil with ginger and garlic, separate topping. This is soya. Bok soya. Bok And that's uh, that's a chutney. A chaar. Mix a chaar. Mix a chaar. So it contains all the all the seasonal things. And this is uh, a beaten rice. Buff curry. Buff. It's called satamari, so satamari. it's creep, creep like you know bees, and you can top with anything that you want. So this is with chicken and egg. Wow! So just look at the bubbles. So uh, if, you, if they have like it is the measurement, right? Of uh, the purity, oh. purity of the uh, yeah. alcohol. It smells strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. It is the lowest one. So this is the first, first one. First one. First one. Mostly uh, we measure the you know purity of this alcohol by the bubbles. More the bubbles, more pure. Wow, <laughs> spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. As a pure spirit. Pure spirit. You have to drink it hot. No, no, you, you, you have to have it cold. See, still burning. जस्ट हैव वन सिप इट हिट्स यू फर्स्ट हेयर एंड देन इट लाइक बर्न डाउन You feel all the, your body parts. You know? Yeah. This is just like meditation. मतलब बिल्कुल मुंह में गया ऊपर से जलते हुए अंदर तक पूरे body में जलन. Absolutely. हंजरा दिया. Absolutely. So, so you, these are considered snacks. So mm. let's begin off from. Chota mari. Chota mari. Very light. Kind of called Nepali Newari pizza. Right. Yeah, yeah, we can call it egg dosa. So crunchy from outside, right? And spongy, right? And fluffy from inside. They, they don't really press it. Mm -hmm. They just you know with a, with a very nimble hand they just spread it. Mm. You don't really, really press it. 
Now swallow it gradually. Lot better. Better only, right? You have to take a time, you know? It is made of same lentils, urad dal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? So you can call it like urad dal pancakes. Right, right. <laughs> Very basic masalas again. That's the meat and uh, egg. Egg. And thick paste again, of lentils. Again, uh, this is quite similar, mm -hmm. right? Uh, again, the base is a lot more thicker and this yeah, is yeah, yeah. lentil. The chota mari, that's the difference and then this rice and this lentils. Right. That's the difference. Right. Just look at how uh, taste really, you know. Yeah. We have just seen the process, how everything is cooked out here. Excuse Most of the me? process is more stir fried right. or pan fried. Right. That's why, you know, uh, Nepalese food has a very good, uh, you know, uh, mix of Tibetan style of like very quick uh, stir frying, mm -hmm. and even you know uh, you call it uh, tampering, right? So, um, so, from his part, mm -hmm. so uh, tampering technique is also uh, uh, it's very different. Sorry, yeah, yeah the, the, you heat the oil, right? Then you add it, right? It's also quite a balanced diet. Make it wholesome. Mm. Can't be more impressive, right? Crunchy. Mm. Yeah, it's because of the bitten rice. Mm. The bitten rice is quite. Mm. Wow. That's the pickle. Mm. Cucumber, carrot, coriander. Right. And radish also? Radish. Radish. Ah. So now meat with right. rice? Right. Like this? Right. Just use your hands. Right. Add some uh, pickle as well. It's chewy. Mm -hmm. It is very really hard. A few hours after you marinate, you know. You know, the, you know, the masala will really penetrate the meat. So, uh, with, you know, the chewiness will be gone. Yeah, I find it a bit hard right. and chewy. Yeah, abhi, abhi. The aloo is such a Nepal, the aloo is a lot of aloo. It's a variety of aloo. Right. It's not tasty. It's again boiled aloo, stir fried. Then she added some oil, mustard oil, right. turmeric. And salt, ginger garlic. garlic and salt. salt. That's it. A bit of cumin as well. It's so flavorful. Yeah. They're simply amazing. Mmm. This is fatty, right? This gelatinous. Right. This is basically bone marrow. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very fatty. It's not a good one. It's only a good one. It's more like grain based. Grain based. And you can carry it in your fields you know, when you work and everything. So it's very carryable. Uh -huh. So you just go to the field, you know. And people have it with, you know, uh, Chang. Uh, chang is a Nepali word. It's mm -hmm. you know. This is, uh, this is called Takuto. It's a thicker, uh, you know, uh, version of. Uh, made up of rice. Yes, yes, it's the same rice. Mm. It's the same. It's the same. It's the rice guy, it's the rice guy. Mmm. 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 Regular in every house. Yeah, but it's a whole So, I mean, the story of Gundruk is very interesting. It's, it, it is not a completely proven, but during 13th, 14th century, you know, uh, the Mughals also attacked in Kathmandu. So, that's when uh, they were uh, able to uh, burn quite a lot of 
Buddhist uh, sculptures, Buddhist uh, scripts and everything. So uh, uh, during 13th-14th century, uh, Kathmandu used to have a Buddhist university. Mm -hmm. So after they attacked, you know, people, uh, you know, fled <coughs> their houses for a like, few days. So what they did was they just, you know, you know, uh, you know, dog hole and they just, you know, put their all their greens and everything. And they just kept away for like eight days. So Gunu means eight. Gunu Dao, Arthur. No deal. No deal. Eh, sorry. No. Gunu Dao, no deal. So nine days. So Gunruk means Gunu Du means it's nine days old. So that's all. I don't know. I mean, if it is like completely right or not. Yo, Mari. Right. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Mm. Yo, Mari. 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 Yo, Coconut and all those sort of you know, dry nuts. Yes. This is great. This is amazing. Right. Mm. I have finished yours as well. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Everything was very good, very delicious. Thank you. Thank you, Dai. Thank you. So, this ghau cha pot right. used to take rice beer while going to feed. So, the farmers right. used to carry it. Right, right. separate district and the scenery that you see around this uh -huh. is uh, uh, the one of the Dara squares from uh, one of the three Dara squares from Kathmandu Valley so um, the place that we are going to is called Raithane it's a retro sort of you know it's a fusion sort of uh, you know ethnic uh, cuisine place it's in, it's opened by like three uh, young people it's, it's a wonderful place to be let's Kind of a Haveli kind of success. Right. So can you tell us more about the ethnic cuisine of Nepal and what exactly is the fusion mm -hmm. food you are talking about? Mm -hmm. Fusion food. Uh -huh. When often when people talk about Nepali cuisines, they talk about momo or dal right. bhat, you know. Right. So for example, Indian cuisine is not just about butter chicken and naan. You know? There's so much variety in South India, North India, Northeastern India. It's similar in Nepal. So if you, as in India, like in Nepal too, you have got lower elevation from 100 meter to one of the highest in the world in the himalayas so you can see the ecological diversity climate diversity and also the crop diversity so it's so diverse and also another reason why we have so diverse cuisine is also because the the ethnic diversity we have even like many nephilis they don't know about all these cuisines right so through the westerns we're trying to promote all these kind of celebrate and promote all the ethnic cuisines from different regions let's say we have a we used to have a huge Bokwit, uh, proso millet, foxtail millet, you know, there's so much variety of grains, it's not just rice. Right. But our culture now has become more rice dependent. But traditionally, we used to have very diverse grains as a staple. Right. So we are trying to promote all these, uh, all these staple grains and uh, often like also promote all these underutilized, underappreciated fruits and vegetables. Suggest one konjamba. It's okay. a simple buckwheat fries eaten by the Thakali community of Mustang region. It's a very simple fry, uh, simple uh, snacks. Go for this one, konjamba. Another very popular one is uh, rikikur mm -hmm. uh, from the Serpa community. Even though it's just been like about 250, 300 years that potat has come to that region, but it, uh, potat is one of the main staple of the Serpa community. Let's do this as well. That's This is a pancake. Yeah, this is a simple potato pancake. And this one is really interesting. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any uh, cultures extracting this kind of cheese from the buttermilk. So 
in the Serpa community has a big culture of uh, eating milk, dairy products. Right. So when they ex extract butter from uh, uh, butter from yogurt, mm -hmm. so there is a butter milk remaining, and they slowly boil the butter milk, and there is a dregs coming down. So basically, it's whey protein, milk solids. So and yeah, so they drain it, so it becomes like a cheese. So that's they call it serkan. And also they have a culture of uh, fermenting serkan. So they ferment it for months. So it becomes very funky, very pungent, very bitter tasting. So it's more like a fissa. So when you put a little bit on the soap, mm -hmm. it's so flavorful. Yeah. Is this uh, most of your breakfast dish? But they eat it I think, all year, all around. Okay. But generally, yeah. And this one is quite garlicky. Yeah, this has got the serkan, mm -hmm. so we also add a little bit of yogurt to make it creamy. Right. Uh, then uh, spring onion, mm -hmm. uh, garlic, mm -hmm. green chilies and salt, that's all. Yeah. On its own is quite bland. Yeah, yeah. this one is quite bland. Yeah. So we don't put anything yeah. uh, there. You have to have it with this, with this dip. Yeah. I think the texture is really nice. Yeah. Now this one is the buckwheat, fried buckwheat. This pepper, Temu, is indigenous to Nepal? Yeah. I this think it's, it's a very indigenous, this variety is very indigenous to Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, grown in the mid hills. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite uh, lemony in taste, like yeah. citrusy in taste. Yeah. That's the basic difference between the Sichuan pepper and the Nepal oh. Temu. It's really good. It's so flavorful. So we call it uh, chamre and angwen faksa. So chamre is basically it's a rice cooked in a mustard oil, fenugreek seeds, uh, ginger, mm -hmm. and cumin and turmeric. Mm -hmm. So it's a slow cooked one, and it's generally eaten as a midday snacks with achar. Okay. So it's a very typical dish from the from the eastern region, and we serve this with uh, angwen and faksa. So angwen in the Limbu language means white lichen. Mm -hmm. And faksa basically means fak is a pig and sa, sha, sa is meat. So it's a pig meat, black pig, mm -hmm. domestic black pig meat. Uh, so it's cooked with, there's lichen, uh, there's, a, there's a pork, and there's a little bit of blood too, pork blood too. So, so you, you can see the texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. And also we put a little bit of a fermented soybean mm -hmm. uh, to give it a flavor. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, in Nepali we call it siltimur. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's kind of like pepper, mm -hmm. so it, again, which has very lemony flavor. So scientifically, they call it listia citrata or something. But it's it's a very, yeah, it's a very lemony. Mm -hmm. It has got very lemony taste. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. one is made from uh, we call kinema ko achar. Kinema is fermented soy. Very country. I really like the, the texture of the pork as well. Maybe because it's, it's a domestic black hog. The texture is like really very really similar to wild hog. Mm -hmm. which, which one you like most? Of course, uh, wild hog, the yeah. texture is a lot better. And uh, this is the closest that you can get. Mm -hmm. yeah. even, yeah. the, even the fat remains intact when you cook. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Prashant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much for coming. Eh? And I've seen your videos. It's really nice. And I've learned a lot about the Indian food from your video too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, That's thank a you. great compliment for me. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed the, the, the meal. Thank you so much. Thank you.